I'm gonna tell you guys something really funny. Yeah. We never pushed record. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey everybody, I wanted to give a big shout out to Full Throttle Battery before we get started. They sponsored our trip out to Winchester Bay, Oregon, and a lot of this wouldn't have happened unless they were on board. So uh, we wanted to give them a, a place of um, a shout out and to uh, bring up their products to our community. So uh, Full Throttle Battery is the largest uh, supplier of thin plate AGM batteries in North America, and they supply uh, primarily all the aftermarket upgrades uh, for the UTV community. Um, they are one one of the best charge cycling batteries that you can possibly uh, put in your machine and they have dual battery setups they have multi uh, function setups for different um, uh, applications uh, if whether you are a big um, bumping sound machine rolling down the down the street or if you're a, um, a high wattage accessory machine with lots of lighting and and things like that they have a solution for you so uh, if you haven't checked them out full throttle battery.com uh, on social media at full throttle battery and uh, we would appreciate you giving them a follow and a like uh, for sponsoring the Side by Side Guys Off Road Podcast. Welcome back to the Side by Side Guys Podcast. I'm Big Z. I'm Ian with Full Throttle Battery, and we are at a special location for a special episode. Who do we got with us, Ian? We got the uh, the the OG guys from the Northwest UTV Trail Riders. We got <laughs> Kelvin Berg and uh, uh, Send It Jerry Goggles. Here is Gabe Prado. <laughs> <laughs> what's up boys what's up what's up if you, if you can't tell gabe's uh favorite colors are blue and green so. yeah well, no yeah. i don't like green. there's like a there's like a <laughs> yeah, there's like a seahawks color tone to your guys's builds and stuff hey, like that come on. Kind of some we're of your from, gear yeah, yeah we're from seattle yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? so uh, uh for those that aren't aware these uh two gentlemen are kind of the originating founders of the uh northwest uh utv trail riders facebook group uh, which has now grown over to uh, ten thousand or twelve? Up over, is it over twelve? Uh, no, it's like eleven something. Eleven five. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I'm we'll flash that up on the screen. <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so these guys uh, run one of the most active UTV Facebook groups in the Northwest, or even maybe the country, depending on you know where you live. So, uh, uh, how did this all start? Like, when did that all come together? I mean, it's like five years old, about right. Well, I think at this this Labor Day, it'll be the uh, Three year anniversary, or three, four, dude. three year, five, dude, five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got my. It's a little my, late my, here my over on the Oregon coast. Oh, he, he so. thinks it's twenty eighteen. I, I, I get caught with five? that every now and then too. Yeah, no, it's four. It'll be four this year. Okay. <laughs> right. 2016. So when you guys started the group, like you guys were, were you a small like actual club that like of just people that knew each other, or how did that kind of form the communications circle? Well, we met. On another Facebook group, but there was too many regulations, and there, uh, you just told politics. Yeah, a lot of people. Uh, what, what what happened was is that you know we we established trail rides and we'd try to go out and have a good time, and then there's certain individuals that believe that uh, we couldn't be playing music and we couldn't be you know having a good time when we're out trail riding, and we weren't really about that. You know, we're like, hey, we want to have a good time, we want to relax, and it was kind of strict. Know, everybody's out to have a good time. You know, right. so. it's our time off work. We want to relax and have fun, dude. We're not gonna. So that's why we created Northwest UTV is because we wanted a place where you don't really have to act a certain way. You know, you yeah. be yourself. You have a little freedom. Started out kind of as a core, about thirty, fifty people. Turned blows up to about eleven thousand. Got yeah. members. Uh, I mean, I saw saw some people jumping on that. They were like from Tennessee. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's one of the things Pretty funny about fa Facebook, right? People join groups that are super niche and super local, <laughs> but they're from like Tumbuktu in Asia or something, you know? It's yep. just like, yeah. Well, well, one of the coolest things about it, though, is it's got like the nut from a number standpoint, like all the OEs have their own pages. You know, Can Am yep. X3's got their own page, RZR's got their own page. You guys right. got those kind of numbers. Right. And it's actual, it's an actual ride. And group. it's naturally aspirated. <laughs> not me, not me. <laughs> well, maybe we can turbocharge it for you. Um, and so, so you guys started this group to kind of get out of that whole pigeonholed politics arena of, of discussion, right? And, yeah. uh, you know, as that started coming old, you know, started to mature a little bit, like people started joining the group. How, how did you go about getting people to join? Was it just uh, word of mouth or was it uh, something that happened? It was both, but like, if we seen a guy in the trail, we would stop, we'd tell him about the group. And a lot of people are just getting in the sport, and they're looking for people to ride with, so it's pretty easy. Right. And, and 
some guys got really into it. You know, they're some of the most active members we just met on the side of the trail. Just uh, you know, slip them a sticker, and it's 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 basically history. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a lot of the core members, man. It's a, it's an identity. You know, you see you'll see decals and stuff and like that the on thing, their trucks. We, ne- we never forget you. You know, like yeah. it's a, it's always the you know like. We've we've been friends with everyone since the beginning. So yeah, that's it's, it's super yeah. cool how like you can connect with a person in a machine. Like you know when they tell you like how to remember things or how to remember people, like look for their eyes or look what like you you remember. Oh, you're the one that had the, the, the XP one thousand tur- or whatever, and you put it on its side that weekend. And yeah. I remember that. You yeah, know? yeah, dude. Like there's guys there's guys in the group there's guys in the group that sold their machine almost a year ago, and they're still part of the group and they're still active on the yeah, thread. They well, do. People they that move moved away move across, across the country, country, right? And they don't right. want to leave. Right. Because yeah. they still want to be active. Because we're dope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you, you talk with people enough and you get enough actual benefit from the community. You become friends and you become, you know, it's like the, the modern version of pe- pen pals across the country, exactly. right? Like you're, you're able to, to ask questions and get that response from people that actually care. Like if you're asking me a question about your UTV, I'm going to tell you something that, that answers your question because I want you to have the best experience you can. Yeah. Right. Right. Because I'm I'm wanting to have the best experience I want to have. And Right. Yeah. And what's cool about it is like, I mean, people join from all over the country. Like you said, I've sent stickers to Maine. I've sent stickers to Florida. But <laughs> there's guys that you pay attention to because you ride with them and, and you they know the they Northwest, know their stuff. Northwest on there. <laughs> and there's a lot of guys that run full-blown shops. And there's guys that run full fabs and everything else that... You know, they have the actual experience and knowledge to tell you how to fix your machine or like that's a common problem or replace that bearing because you're going to it's going to break the first time you go out or whatever. Yeah. And so that's kind of nice about a regional area. Right. Because like you can tell you can say, hey, go John on the group. He's the one that does all the the fab work for all right. the top racers or whatever. And you can say, like, he, you know, how, who to refer and who to say, send to what shop and all that. Right. Kind of stuff. For each specialty, like um Front diffs and transmissions. I recommend ZFG. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to say that. No, 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 you can no, fire away, no, man. Say whatever you want. Fire away. No plugs yeah. here. Or what? Yeah, no, fire no, no. away. Free, free promotion. They're just my friends. Nobody, Don't nobody's, matter. Nobody's so. paying us, well, man. Well, <laughs> that brings up the point, though, is that like all these shops, all these guys, it's not a competitive like. There's not two shops in no, like, a block there's, away there's and they're competing. About good Everybody's. Work. Nobody's Good fighting work. to fix your transmission, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> so uh, back when you guys started, uh, you know, how was the, the the community? Like, how big was it external from the Facebook group, and how much it came into that Facebook group, or or did it all just come out of the Facebook group? I just added like probably twenty five guys, and then. We just try to – I actually cheat, dude. I look at other <laughs> Facebook groups, and I'm like, what is the coolest thing on this guy's page? And I take that. Right. And usually they add me – I get added by guys all the time. Join my group. Join my group. I join your group, and then I just steal your footage. <laughs> 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 no problem, dude. Thank well, you. Hey, but you know what, though? We do – We it comes back. I mean, like like this weekend, you know, we got lots of great footage. That's real. I mean, we're out yeah. here having a good time. Yeah. That footage we got with you, man. I mean, what what footage? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what footage? You know, but that's the cool thing about our sport, right? Like everybody's out to have fun, and and if you can videotape it and share it, like all we're all in for yeah, it, and, and we're gonna go bigger, and we're to gonna see, go faster, right? yeah. Because yeah. everyone's at home, and they're like, we want to see what you guys are doing, right? Yeah. There's a lot of living vicariously on on Facebook groups, right? So whenever you get a chance to communicate to commune with other guys and and actually push each other and like you know. We were up on the big dune today, and and like go higher, go sh- turn down Hi, faster, Mark. like go two wheel, like let's make it happen. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Right. I've no- I noticed there's a there can be a lot of hate when it comes to OEs and stuff. Everybody oh, brand bash uh, right. Ford Chevy stuff like that. Nobody hates on footage. Like if you're uh, out there trying yeah. to push yourself it's and stuff, brand. everybody's like super supportive. <laughs> and it's funny, yeah. like if you, you like online, you obviously get the whole Can M versus Polaris versus Yamaha or whatever. But right. when you get actually on the on the dirt, like no one cares. Like no. we're we're all like a- unless you got beat. Well, there's some serious <laughs> well, drag races today. <laughs> there Whoa. was some racing today. Whoa, yeah. But uh, did we get content on that? Oh yeah, someone was recording. Oh yeah, someone was recording. that'll that'll come out in the vlog. So all right, all right, yeah. yeah. So check that out. Um, so what have you seen over the last couple of years of growth? You know, what's changed in the community on the on on the Facebook group? Is it is it more discussive? Is it more detailed? Is it more uh, you know joking and humor? Like, uh, well. Uh, just on the group yeah um i mean obviously there's g- people from all over the country added and they don't know 
that we're such a tight knit group. Like every, I know so many people on there, and they know me, and like a lot of people know each other, so they'll just troll. I don't you think know? that no, a lot of people don't know what NW stands for. Oh, get yeah. out of here! <laughs> really? I don't think so. Wow. Unless you're from the NW, you know. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. So uh, when we're talking about the group, um, one thing that I want to give you guys props on is the fact that you've actually like branded it and made it into like you were saying, like you would go look at other things that other groups do, like hat designs, shirt designs, stickers, and all that kind of stuff. It's not just like, oh, I made a group and it's, I just want to get answers and pictures or whatever. You guys actually have merch and stuff that's, that people are proud to wear. Trademark. Yeah. So who does all your who does all your stuff? It's been a little bit of everything. Uh, yeah, we had one of my buddies from uh, actually Baja, down Baja, Mexico, do these jerseys. You know, oh, that's cool. We bought sixty, seventy jerseys. Nice. Everybody got their last who does name the designs on. and stuff though. E- everybody but Ian. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> chaos, chaos, motocross. Yeah. yeah, yeah, chaos. And yeah. he did, he did the same for these jerseys. He put it all together. This yeah, guy, dude. Steve's work. Steve's he's, he's got the vision. Yeah, you know, sure, like we tell, sure. I tell him something. Hey, I want trees. I want this. I want Northwest UTV twist on it. And he knows what to do. A- man, every so. rap I've ever done, Steve did. Yeah, he's and a, and he killer. he came through in a pinch too. Like we're leading up into SEMA, man. We were on about a twenty four hour window, and he yeah, and graphics, he pulled it up, he pulled it together. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, uh, he's they are never disappoints, you know. And that's what's cool about our stickers too that sets us apart because they're actually motocross graphics, so it's way thicker vinyl. Yeah, and they last and they pop like yeah. they're bright, and his designs are pretty good. So that, I mean, you could helped. you could peel it off and reuse it, and it'll still work. Oh, I've, <laughs> I believe me, I know. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, one thing I was thinking about just a minute ago that I, I hadn't thought of before is um, I'm sure we could get information as because we've talked about on how UTV is just ascending. It's ascending something fierce. Locally, I'd be really interested to know what it's doing in the Pacific Northwest because people can access this community, access this forum so easily. And, I mean, you guys can chime in on this. Like, when it comes to street legalization, that is a dominating thread that's on that a, page. And, a, and there's yeah. a lot of advocates every that are on time. this group every time. that are on this, in this group that are pushing to get. It's funny. Like, I can't drive, I can't drive my UTV in my hometown of, like, 15 people because, mm-hmm. like, old ladies will call the cops and stuff like that. But people yeah. can ride it in, like, Enumclaw yeah. or something or, yeah, or Woodenville. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I do it anyway, but whatever. <laughs> So uh, in the group, does uh, is there a, key, a, f- a few key people that kind of help push that uh, that motivation forward with the like the departments of commerce and things like that? Because I know there's a lot of threads that like, hey, this city's going on here, and we're gonna go to the meeting, and we're gonna you know shout out for the community. Well, and what we there really is. try to we what we really try to do is uh, we try to seek people out who who want to represent uh, you know on part of us. Damn it. What's that lady's in, in name? certain parts of the state, right? So, or, or not even out of the state, but even in Oregon, California, whatever, you know, if we, we try to find someone who's in really in the community, side by side community, you know, and who wants to be part of, part of North. They usually pop out themselves. They They're usually saying and posting yeah. in, in yeah. their town. Stuff. Oh, dude, I want to go to Starbucks Austin's in my car. Austin's done a great job. Austin uh, Finch. Austin's done a great job. Austin, and you know what? Yeah, he, he, know, he knows exactly what they want to hear. Her name is Amy Bleem, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty positive. She came up with this Shout packet. out to Amy Bleem. Yeah, we, and we've sent it to everybody that's asked across the state. From I mean, everybody that gets curious, we send them this packet, and then they take – and just about everywhere – has progressed and passed street legalization um, that has submitted this packet yeah. to the county. And there's a lot of cool stuff coming. I mean, that is, that's in his preliminary stages, uh, the street, whole street legal thing. We're doing so much cool stuff with that. Like, okay. Say you can't drive on a highway. It's that that's like 50 miles an hour. Well, we're, we're going at him like, Hey, a school zone is 20 miles an hour. Do it for us. Know, and right. the, do it for us. Well, you can drop that down to 35 when UTVs are present so that we can ride the highway, so that we can cross the highway. So no, that's great stuff. And that's the biggest thing, right, is getting across. Like, if you can't even touch the pavement. Well, that's then yeah. what's the hey, uh, We're yeah. discriminated on, like, when it comes to, uh, you know, highway. You can't even be on it. It's like everyone else can. A dirt bike can. You know, we pay we pay lots of money. For Actually, sure. we, we're one of the only, you know, machines that pays dual registration. Right, and so to to be told like, hey, you can't like, even though you paid double tabs on and off road, you can't go everywhere off road, even though you paid for it. Right, 
which is you know it, 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 not to mention the sales tax and the transfer tax if exactly. you're buying out state dude, and all that stuff. dude i got a, like a 20 second story to tell you here we just shouted out austin austin and i have done lunch a few times and i initially obviously met austin through the group we're both yxe writers right and yeah. we start talking austin moves <laughs> YXE, more bros. yeah dude he moves more batteries than anybody oh, that yeah. i know he's like he's in the, he's in the, he's in the battery game so we start having these conversations i'm starting to get a little feedback from my home office as president and i'm going yeah yeah i'm trying to trying to make something work with this guy this is what they do this is kind of numbers do they know do this austin it, guy? It, it, <laughs> well, no and he hits me up he goes well how did you how did you come across this opportunity he goes i'm in this riding group <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah he's smart so, yeah oh <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's dialed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's helped out a bunch, man. He you know, Austin's been there since the beginning too. Oh, and if you need content too, he'll he'll send it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what though, uh Ian, you've been you've been there since the beginning too though. Pretty you know? close, so, yeah. Yeah. I mean yeah. maybe less than a year off, you know. I mean I remember you since I've talked to beginning. you guys about doing this right here uh, even two years ago. We were talking about <laughs> no, doing I think life. on the way down we we're talking about it, you know. Calvin was like, Oh well, they said they want to do a blog. And he's like 43. We like, put up with yeah, him. Man. He's kind of bad for Let's our do image. It. But Let's whatever. do it. That would be fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, we're out here at uh, Winchester Bay, Oregon, uh, which was kind of an event organized through the Facebook groups, right? So Unofficial. Unofficially, right? <laughs> it's I think, kinda, it, it's I think it's gone through like two or three names. Read, man. It's kind of a tip of the cap. Yeah. Jim does for us. Yeah. We help him out. Hey, at shout out Takeover. to UTV Takeover. Those guys are awesome. So then he throws us, uh, hey, man, this is the Northwest UTV Winter Bash. And then, you know, they see his name. Well, and it's he, President's Day. You know, it's like in Glamis. They have President's pull. Day. It's like, yeah. we got to have a little something up in the Northwest. <laughs> we can't just stay home. Yeah. So. And we ain't going to Moses Lake. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I, part of me just wonders if Jim just wants to party. Yeah, he, does. he does. <laughs> That's yeah. what he said. He's like, he hey, it's going to be uh, We're getting a nod over If you're seeing us look off screen, it's because he's right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, tell us about the, the trip up here and, and what, what have you guys done today out in the dunes? Like, how was the weather for you? And well, the sand is heavy. Yeah, super heavy. But it was beautiful. I mean, I, every time I was hammering around anywhere, I could smell my belt. Two I was feeling my belt all day, and yeah. I think that was, it was keeping me out of the throttle because I was like, "Oh snap!" <laughs> like, right. Wait, waiting yeah. for it to break. But, but uh, uh, I didn't break a belt though, which which it, really surprised me. It's great traction, man. Guys with dirt tires are hooking up almost as well as guys with paddles. And the best thing is it didn't rain, dude. It sprinkled a little bit yeah. here well, and there. Everyone's like, it's going to rain. I better cancel my plans. Well, last <laughs> night, I mean, even that, I was at the weather. Park, the RV park right now is absolutely jam-packed, so nobody canceled their plans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, all last night, it was heavy, heavy rain, and we were expecting it to be raining today, too, and it opened and up it for didn't. us. Yeah. Which, uh, you know, the, it's funny, the guy, when we, when we bought fuel, he said, uh, he's like, it happens every time, man. He said, it's, right now it says heavy rain. And look outside. Is Sun. there any rain? Right. It was completely right. dry. So yeah. we were like, "Hey, <laughs> it's perfect." Yeah, I got. I got to ask you guys, man, because like the the group kind of got founded on off road riding, like uh, trail riding, yep. uh, uh, mud riding, rock crawling, this, that, and the other. They're, they're, this spot is Winchester Bay, Coos Bay, is pretty special to us, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to talk very long to get get the Northwest UTV crew to come down to Oregon for sure. No, it's well, the best like, right we, there. We it have, really we, is. We like to have put our sand shoes on. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's nice. You go from, you know, being in the twisties in the mountains for so many months, and then you come out to somewhere like this where you can just stretch out and yeah. Everybody carve. Everybody loves and, sand. Yeah. Yeah, it's something that's toes. soothing about it, right? <laughs> Hold it wide open. From a scenery standpoint, it doesn't get oh, any man. better than this. That's the, that's the one thing I'll tell that's you true, about true. our group is uh, the. I feel like we get, I mean, some of the best pictures in the country. I mean, I I ain't bragging, but I mean, literally, if we you go up too. in the Cascades, ten, fifteen thousand feet, and I mean, the the views are spectacular, and that's what I love about here too. Yeah, I mean, you go down to like Arizona, California, whatever. Like all the ter- all the pictures look the same. It's, it's yep. brown in the background, sand. There may be some skyline in the in the mountain distance, but it's all just desert. Not like here, you know. You got like Mount Rainier in the background, you know, that looks this tiny, and it's just right, it's beautiful. Yeah, you can throw a GoPro on, and nobody's gonna get bored on content yep. in the Northwest. It's okay. gorgeous. Yeah. So, uh, Gabe, where's your favorite place to ride? I mean, honestly, I'm from Yakima, man. So uh, uh, my backyard is Cascade Park, 
Moon yep. Rocks, Funny Rocks. That's 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 my jam. Uh, is it my favorite place to ride? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think that uh, what it comes down to is I know it like the back of my hand, so I don't really have to think about where I'm going. I right. just go. Uh, that's my favorite part yeah. about it. What about you? I got to say here, man. Here, here in Coos here. Bay. I'm, I'm here. T- yeah. I mean, I'm with you. this is the best. I... <laughs> I love trails, dude, and I love just chilling, making it overall off camber stuff. But you get out here and you get to let it go wide open. I feel like here, so I, many... I got to be a little bit on edge though, because yeah. like you don't know what's well, around the next I was just going to touch on that. Like last year, last year this place was totally blown out. You follow Jeremy <laughs> and, Day, and you yeah. know. You don't <laughs> no, I always tell people don't break trail. If you see tire tracks, you're probably in good shape. Yeah. You know, but or if you see. A, tail lights in front of you yeah. you better hit yours if, if there's been if there's been, <laughs> if there's been storms if there's been storms here yep. this place can get a little moody and it'll it'll bite you well people right don't now like just, oregon mm-hmm. people don't come to the sand in the winter time really yeah they're all from seattle well it's like it's <laughs> <laughs> a good point so yeah. so we showed up on thursday and went out for a ride in the rain and there was literally nobody here like no. not even in the town like, like it was just out. it's blown out like we like blown out like that's well, nobody's like. here. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice and slick. That's the time to go is we when like everybody else doesn't in, want we to. Like all that. <laughs> so yeah. uh uh where do you normally ride outside of the coos? Oh, um I mean, Evans Creek's in my backyard. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Hometown, home territory. LB's one of the coolest spots in the whole state because it's they, rocky in the hill. No, <laughs> because they change it every month. Like they get they have work meetings every month to evolve the park. With what people want, I and still, it's, I'm still yet to be there. And it's I, I wild, like Wheeling. Me too. It's wild. I it's wild. It's the most aggressive place we have in the state. They make obstacles and they change it up so much. You never really know what you're going to get, but you know you're going to get. It's going to be sloppy. It's going to be a good time, dude. It's going to push you. Oh, I've seen so. like the the moons there, right? You seen that when you know that? Yeah, yeah the moon family. That came looked up. like it got rowdy, man. Oh, that, that's they got for, LA, blown LS on that rock crawler. Yeah. I mean. That's, yeah, that's crazy. The King at LB, that's gonna be cool. They they just did that like KOE. This baby. was the second year. This year it was totally like sold out. There was cars all the way down the street or trucks, and we were just cruising around watching because there's rock buggies there, you know. But this year they're gonna they're gonna. We got be invited. They actually made a side by side class because because of us, and uh, I felt like the 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 presence wasn't really there because not a lot of people knew it and it was kind of last minute they added it you know because it's wow. like it's made for rock crawlers so now that we know next year we're going well plus they're getting permits. next year we're all going we're gonna do we're gonna do a blog from yeah, for sure we'll show <laughs> it up. Yeah, for real so uh yeah, fun. so what kind of terrain is at that park it's it's, it's rocky it's gnarly it's muddy it's in a rainforest well, just think, of, the- think about uh mount rainier you yeah, know, it's, it's, it's the backside of Mount Rainier. It so is you're literally climbing a volcano. <laughs> oh, tell nice. everybody where it's at. <laughs> it's like where's it located? It's Ashford, Washington. Actually, it's the backside right... of a, a White Pass, Sasquatch yeah, it's, territory. It's Mount Rainier, but it's in a rainforest, a national rainforest. So it rains a lot, and it digs. These guys go out there with huge tires nowadays, forty sevens. You know, dig holes, and it makes it really challenging. But they change it up, dude. Like there's guys that go there once a month. TJ Rooney, he spends a lot of his time Shout there. Out. Huh? Shout out. Yeah. He deserves it. I mean, it, like, baby. here's an example. Like, they're allowed to change it however they want. So they made ledges last, uh, no, two times ago I was there. They made they put a log, and then it would be flat, and they put an, this is going uphill. So you're climbing logs while you're going up, and I was like, oh, my, this is crazy, dude, because it was challenging because you couldn't keep your momentum, but every you had to hit every spot just right. Just right. <laughs> it was fun. It's like a video game. You yeah. Know, advance Is that the next a, stage. a public park or a private park? It's a public. It's uh, DNR. Gotcha. Yep. But That's you know cool. what? The DNR, they uh, they love the people, the community there. Because they're uh, just as big a rednecks as we are. Yep, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, uh, the, the but it's amazing to see the support, the community support there. Uh, that's one of the biggest things that I've noticed is that LB gets taken care of by the people who go there. Yeah, hundred percent. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. You guys, uh, you guys want to talk about takeover? Sure. Uh, Let's do a quick. I'm little always so down re- to talk about. The takeover. reason I bring up takeover is, uh, I mean, I w- I work events all over America. Yeah. And everybody, you know, camp raisers obviously a big one, right. but the one that everybody in this industry is saying you guys can't miss this is UTV takeover in Coos Bay. Come on. Yeah, I mean, I mean, 
who who's been to this event? We got we've had Blake Wilkie out there. We've had uh, if you I mean, have I, been there. You Al McBeth holds TV court event. out there every yeah. year. You know, um, Casey Curry's crew was out Is there last year. Uh, well, I'm not sure if he's coming. I think it's on his. I think it's on his radar. But yeah, um, one of the marketing Is, guys that work for Full Throttle right now. He also uh, he works with. Uh, he knows Casey. He's worked with Casey in the mm, past. He's that worked car with Rock, and is crazy, man. dude. He. Uh, um, he works with Brandon Sims. So, I mean, some of the biggest names in UTV might start making an appearance at that event. And what's crazy, dude, is that event is so big now. Like, uh, Casey Curry wasn't in his, – his guys that were there to vlog, they weren't there, like, in an official capacity. It wasn't something that TakeOver was, like, promoting. They're just there organically because that event is yep. so awesome. Right. Yeah. Right. They heard about it. Wasn't it his brother? Uh, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw the vlog year. video. They did a great job with it, man. It was just it was mostly just riding footage so and a he, little bit of fishing. Is he good friends with Cole? Friday? Oh, I don't know. Because he's Cole's Cole's in- sponsored by Can Am, right? So Well yeah. But I, I don't, don't dude, I don't even know if Cole's sponsored. Is, is, I'm pretty sure. Is he? I th- I I, I, so. I'd hope so, dude. Cole put something up on Instagram the other day that just, <laughs> no, no, it, it literally, like, I had so much respect for it, dude. He's nutty, bro. Dude, he showed a picture of his bank statement, and there was nothing in his account. And he was basically just promoting the fact, he goes, you guys have no clue what this takes to get this done, this race thing. Hey, trying try to live this thing. I, I had a lot of he's respect got a big for that, heart, man. man. Yeah, he, for real. He sends it. He sends it for the crowd. Yeah, it, it, and that's the <laughs> one thing. Is, you know, I love people who are willing to send it for the crowd. That's yeah. Good yeah, yeah. Yeah, shout out to that dude. Yeah. Uh, we had this event here uh, this weekend. Uh, are there any events coming up throughout the year that are not uh, necessarily, um, you know, officially sanctioned events? Well, uh, the next one is Easter. We always do Easter in Moses Lake. No, well, it's not. <laughs> the pizza Jeep drives. Dude, Come we're on. going to watch Shugle. Yeah, that's that right. weekend. Yeah. Well, yeah, I oh no, yeah, it's, dude, it's I, yeah. I was going to prompt you on that one, man. There's some plans in the works. I'm not sure when Easter is, but th- this is April 17th and 18th. Yep. You get, yep. I can't so. believe, personally, I can't believe there's such a big disconnect between UTV and motocross. And motocross is there won't be for long, dude. There. So if you don't know the Washougal Park. You're just asleep at the wheel. You know, Washougal is one of the biggest nationals on the motocross scene there is. Yeah. And they're about to open it to UTV. It's one of the most beautiful tracks in the world. Ever. It ever it uh, always ask any pro motocrosser. Yeah. Most of them will say that's their favorite. So they're they're jumping on board. They want to get involved with UTVs and they want they want to turn it into, you know, it's always just been a motocross park, but now they, you know, they want to get involved, make it a power sports kind of park. So we're making. Get it. We're cutting out trails where. We, they just put in a track, a uh, UTV track, just to try it out. They call it the Grassroots Series, and this is gonna be the second year of that. And we're gonna try to make it way bigger. We're gonna, we're gonna, we got a poker run we're doing. We got a, a like a timed sprint race. You don't want to bang against your buddy, or, and who can afford that, right? <laughs> you go by yourself. Goes in like uh, three minute increments. So. Yeah, it's ten a, freaking mile track. Ten mile track it's gonna through be a, the rainforest. Fifty mile court. No, it's not a rainforest. The, dude, that's it's yeah, Olympic. It it, yeah, it's the Olympic it's, National Forest. Is it? Yeah. Well, well I mean, it's not the Olympic National Forest, but that whole section is. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna put parts of the motocross track in it, the fun stuff, and then we're gonna cut off the woods like horsepower gonna, hill. Yes, we're gonna oh, cut. Yeah. We're gonna. We gotta have that. Fly up horsepower hill. He's even talking about putting drags. Not this year. Making drag straight up horsepower hill. Well, I'm pushing that's, for you know what I'm pushing that's the for best. is I want a a, a opt- obstacle course. Heck yeah, that's like my we kind see of stuff. Down south, I want, I want uh, you want that here. obstacle course. Yeah, huh? I do. I, I want seventy it. miles an hour through the trees. Oh, check it out. I want. All of it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they got this. They got this little pond on top of Washougal, and it's for irrigation. They water the whole track with this pond, and they stock it with trout, right? And they call it like the pro circuit. Um, pro circuit pond right and uh so we're gonna do a poker run there and he was talking about one of the stops we're gonna have to catch a fish shut up (laughs) you can't move on to your next stop until you catch a fish and bring it in I'm only in the Northwest. Hey, dude. You better yeah. bring your bait. There's going to be a lot of uh, <laughs> racers with fish in their pockets. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so. hey, that's a salmon. That ain't no trout. It'll be fun. <laughs> I mean, they got, I mean, I talk, I chopped it up with Ryan Huffman a little bit, you know. and Huff Daddy? Yeah. yeah. Dude, he, he's trying to do, I mean, he's trying to get a stage, uh, you know, to have a live band, build a huge fire pit. So, 
you know, that's going to be, that place is going to be awesome. That's going to be cool. Yeah. They, is there any uh, dates where that's expected to pop off? Well, the first one here is the, it's uh, April 17th and 18th. Cool. And that's going to be, yeah, that's, that's the season opener. We're, we're just going to have a sprint series race. We're going to have a, um, what's it called? Short course, which is always fun. And, uh, we're going to have a poker run and we're going to fish, dude. You're going to be able to take your kid. <laughs> wow. Take your kid and fish. Yeah, gonna be I wonder if they have any idea how, how big that's going to be. I, I mean, you're going to have more toy so. haulers and car, car trailers and you can shake a stick at showing up to that, man. <laughs> I hope so, man. We don't have anything like that in the dirt yet. Yeah. So, yeah. You want to wrap it up on Winchester? Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it was a great ride today. Um, you guys are here probably through the weekend as well, right? Yeah. Um, hopefully, the weather holds out for us a little bit more. Get some more blue sky. That'd be nice. Yeah, uh, but it was super nice. Even even with my rig with the flipping big bighorns on it, you know, we were able to get around because of the packed sand. It was kind of nice. Yeah, I mean, for you guys trying to throw that back end around, it wasn't so nice. But uh, we got a lot of good shots, and uh, maybe get some more footage of you guys when you're out. Absolutely. Yeah. Did yeah. some drag racing. Did some uh, basically some big dune surfing stuff and like that. Up. Right. Our happy place. Yeah, yep. you guys got to ride in the X3. That was cool. I was glad that happened. That was, awesome. that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah and so just so everybody knows, uh, Ian's X3 got a, a little upgrade this uh, this trip. We stopped by uh, TGM. Yep. And uh, shout got out a, to Bernie. Got a Burn. stage three Evo tune. Everybody great, knows Bernie. Great guy. Yeah. yeah. Big Burn. Yeah. Now I, I actually put up a comment when him and I left that shop. Is this how like how lucky are we, man? We uh, mm. the the shops that we have in the Northwest <laughs> just. Yeah, the best of the best. I stop in, do, get dude. tuned, and I leave. You know? every, every, <laughs> like, at every one that. of them. You at every one of them. Yeah, yeah. So, how did the car perform with the tune? Uh, well, I mean, jumping right onto sand, I, I still got to throw those thirties back <laughs> on and see what's on dirt. But, but like uh, going into sand, it uh, it's fun. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the cream of the crop out there. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I think that thing. Uh, <laughs> It, it'll let you get away with some mistakes, man. No doubt about it. Yeah. So, it's a good uh, way to put it. So, Gabe, your your rig's pretty popping. It's a pretty pretty balling little machine. What do you yeah. got going on uh, there? Well, it's just a sixteen, man. I mean, uh, I'm just trying to keep just up, a sixteen. Keep, You've keep done a few things times, up on it, you know. I got it's stage three. Got some HMF on the back of that a, thing. Uh, it's a Empire. Oh, okay. Uh, Empire, yeah. right on. You know, keep it West Coast. It sounds good. Yeah, it it, it sings. Yeah. Man, it's, I it's was telling you that ride. last year. I'm like, I can hear him coming a mile away. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? For a little 16, it it does does pretty it good. Does good. Man. Those 16s, yeah. you know, that was that first year. But they there was some parts of that that block and everything else that they put in there that that was pretty solid. The, the 17s, they did some upgrades, and 18s, they did a few more upgrades. But there was a lot of problems yeah. with those that initially, and the 16s are still holding strong. Strong, yeah, 100. percent You I got mean, a 16 too, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Nice. I mean, nice. I've upgraded the hell out of it, so it's really not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to it? Oh, I got like a stage three front diff. Um, geez, what haven't I done to it? It's got a uh, HMF. It's got a HMF tune to stage three. Um, well, cage, you know. Uh, the um, huge. Yeah. It's typical <laughs> stuff. I mean, but so it's it's fun. But you know what keeps me from selling it is I don't have a payment on it. Right, <laughs> not the best. Right, that's, that's I'd love to have a new good machine, feeling. but it's a good feeling. Yeah. So if you is, were going to get a m new machine, what would you be looking? Yeah, we got at? a lot of new, Come on, uh, uh, a lot of new machines did, out there. You know what I'd get? Did did something change over the last <laughs> like twelve hours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, it's been proven to me a few times, and I people try to scare the hell out of me, or. Every time I ride with somebody, but... I wasn't trying to scare you. That's just riding, man. I, that's just riding. I <laughs> yeah. know. I, you guys make me lead these groups, and I was tired of naturally aspirating. I'm like, Williams, dude, I'm, I'm getting after it, man. Bob Williams did the same thing in his X3 last year, man. And they're so planted, and they just fly. And they, like you said, they, they, they're they so forgiving. Yeah. They correct all your mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, but they're super planted, dude. Just yeah, for sure. Ripping jumps on the side of a huge bowl at like 50 plus. doesn't get any better than that dude <laughs> oh yeah no I, I i actually uh got out of shape on when i was riding by myself we actually got it on uh got it on film there and i was i was hitting the i was popping it a little bit and it started to uh start to kick out on me i was like dude it's got this no problem <laughs> <Yeah>. land <laughs> get rolling piece of cake yeah, <laughs> yeah. i say that and i'm gonna wad up tomorrow watch <laughs> <laughs> No. All right. Well, uh, you know, it's been a really great uh, opportunity to come meet you guys uh, for the first time myself. 
Uh, Ian obviously has met you guys a long time ago. So uh, coming out, meeting more guys in the community that I've tried, chatted with online, you know, multiple times for different topics and reasons, and seeing all the friends show up and uh, fall asleep during podcasts. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Toby. He's um, in, he's you can watch us later, Toby, and out. and. Uh, and know that you were on it. So, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun to be out here and I can't wait for tomorrow and, and seeing how uh, tomorrow turns out because I think we'll make some more awesome yeah. stuff uh, out yeah. there. So, so we, we appreciate it, man. I mean, yeah, you know, we, awesome. we love being guests on the show and maybe we'll do it again sometime. You so, invite uh, us back. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, Full Throttle Battery brought us down and Full Throttle Battery brought me to you guys. Mm-hmm. And the, uh, just so you know, Zach, these two and this group has been some of the biggest full throttle advocates around period from day one. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah, and I really appreciate that. And, you know, like I said, this, this show actually, this, what we're doing right now is actually sponsored by full throttle and that's uh, awesome, yeah. Yeah. It, wow, uh, yeah. Cool. Really so you appreciate have... your guys' help with that and stuff. It's, uh, it's been a, well, you know, it's, it's what's, been a great match, crazy, man. Even to, you know, just to, to touch on that subject a little bit. When I, when I was first started in the industry, it was like Optima, Optima, Optima. And now it's just like you see anyone throw out a recommendation, it's full throttle. Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that makes in me in the threads. It's like sixty percent proud and happy. For real, yeah, 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 for real. It came so, a long way. Got a lot of brand honks out there, yeah. man. It's amazing. What, <laughs> it's amazing what a battery, some stickers, and T-shirt and stuff like that. <laughs> do, man. Yeah. Well, I think it's just that whole connection, right? Like most brands won't do a connection with you. They'll they'll throw yeah. you off on the normal customer support response or the chat bot or the whatever they use to, to talk on Facebook, right? Yeah. And when brands are actually active in the community to be a exactly. part of the community. And there's a lot of mom and pop shops that do things like, you know, fabrication and parts and things like that. Yeah. And uh, accessories. And, and they're a part of the group, right? They're there. They're, and you know where it's being made. You know yep. the, you know that the guy down there making it is doing it for a living, and he's going to do a great job because he needs to make money, right? Yep. And he's not just some big factory that sources it out of China yeah, or whatever. Right. So I, that's the thing I love about our community yeah. is that you can you can rely on the fact that there's great people behind what they're saying and doing and making. The industry is a great place. So to wrap up, do you guys have any shout outs you want to make before we wrap things up? Uh, shout out to Resio Motorsports. You know these guys always take care of us. To who? Resio. Oh, oh yeah, oh, Resio. Yeah, dude, yeah. they uh, they hit the reset button on our Instagram account. I need you to go to bat for me. <laughs> I, I missed that follow. I lost him. I need it no, back. He's a cool guy. Yeah, man. he is. Geo. Shout out to Geo. Dude, you got to give a shout out to Addiction. Oh, of course. I mean, these guys, they, they went above and beyond. We we forgot our gas cans when we left. They were going to give Seattle us their and, gas cans full. And honestly, you know, they came, <laughs> they they came, even they came through and they yeah. opened up the shop before it even opened. And he said, hey, grab whatever you want, man. You know, grab whatever you want, whatever you need. He did. He, gave, he got us glasses. We figured it out. So shirts. these guys, they take care of us, man. And we, we appreciate that. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, Octane Toy Box. Octane Toy Box, of course. They hooked it up. We love all the local people, you know. That's it. Fuel GTV. Number one. Yep. It, yeah, man. And Superior. Shark Bite. Yep. They're all great, man. Yeah. I swear, you guys got to get out there and meet them. All of them are super good people. Yeah, I've been I've been in all of them. Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, the day we were coming in, we made it, we stopped into Superior, you know, and y- you think you're gonna go in there, and you know, I mean, most calls, most stops, usually somewhere around a half an hour we're in there, two hours, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, gonna you know. be treated like family, man. It's like, hey, yeah. you want to come back? Wait till you see back. the vlog, Let's man. You, you guys ever seen a turbo turbo four C no. general? I mean, get out of here. No, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's that's a that shock dish is ridiculous. Oh, the king shot. Oh, yeah. What? No, it's nuts. Like That's I didn't not, even that, know that thing existed. I showed up there. I'm like, wait. Doesn't what? it have two shocks, like one vertical or something? Oh, oh you're uh, referring to the top to the general. That's the concept <laughs> car you're talking about. Oh, with the, no, that's yeah. Cool. So they they take the linkage from the uh, from the opposite corners and they connect them together. And and now on the new version, it's all the hydraulics are connected wow. together. So when wow. one one wheel goes up, the other corner opposite corner goes up, and you can literally jack up the side of the car, and the whole car goes up instead of just wow. the side. Yeah, it's pretty awesome stuff. So it's over at Superior getting uh, all its plastics and everything put back on it. That's awesome. You know, for those who can't see right now, there's some stuff going on in the background here. <laughs> We've got somebody that's passed out. <laughs> Toby and, Jenkins. Yeah, yeah. Toby. Yeah. <laughs> and everything that could be put on him is getting put on him. So Poor Toby. Yeah. Anyways. He's yeah, got a lot of gets for waking everybody <laughs> up at 6 a.m. Yeah, check, check out our Instagram. We'll throw up an Instagram story on this. Hey, could you guys, like, double 
what's on him right now? Well, fly the drone yeah, yeah. again. What, fly whatever the drone you again. can find in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Because yeah. we were flying the drone. We, it was like, you can't sleep around here. We were flying the drone <laughs> in the bedroom. You know, like, no way. Wake up, dude. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> we gosh. We posted that online. Check it out. <laughs> dude, Instagram story that stuff, buddy. You got to start <laughs> taking awesome, pictures dude. of that. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, uh, to wrap up the podcast, uh, we really appreciate the time, and we appreciate letting us in your house that Absolutely, you're renting. Absolutely, man. Uh, taking the time to let us to set up all this rigmarole and I'd see everybody that's kind of hanging out here wants to get back to deadliest catch or whatever it was they were watching <laughs> one before we showed up but i think yeah. they were watching asian bingo or something well, like the yeah. uh the world pork closed yet bro so you know oh you're, you're going know. back out all right hey you gotta you gotta <laughs> we'll use see. what you got and we'll see all right guys well thanks for joining the podcast uh we'll see you next time all right brother thank, thank you, you.